the right. Shalom. First and foremost, as always, all praise is honor and glory. Be unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, being Yahweh Shai. The only names of which salvation could be obtained, whether you could receive it or not. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, and through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you can receive that or not, in peace, love, blessing, salutations, be unto the elect of the house of Israel who are pushing this truth and truth and sincerity and charity and faith and who are able to receive these things that are needful for salvation, man. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> this is the book of 2 Thessalonians 2 and uh, start at verse, verse 2. It reads, That ye... Be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as the day of Hamashiach is at hand, right? The day of Hamashiach, which is what? That's the day of our redemption, man. That's the day of the redemption of the nation of Israel, man. Okay? And that's the, ultimately, that's what we're waiting for, man. But, but what, did, what did he say? Going on, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, right? Be in that day of redemption, except... There come a falling away first. Now, why is he saying this, man? See, what you got to understand is during the time of the New Testament, they were reading the Old Testament, man. Okay? Because the Old Testament and the New Testament go hand in hand together. All right? You can't read, you can't just jump into the sequel of a movie or a book without having read, you know, the first the first part. Okay? And what they were, what, what, what they, what, they were referring to often in the Old Testament, man, was was prophecies. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get into the prophecies and see where this is coming from. But what you're seeing is he's saying that day of, of our, our redemption wouldn't come unless there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So we would fall away from this truth. All right, which which began in 70 A.D. All right, when Rome besieged Jerusalem. Okay, and we would end up coming back into this knowledge, man, coming back into this heritage, and Esau would be exposed, man. Okay? This, this, this is the prophecy that he's saying, but let's go ahead and, and see why he was saying this, okay? Why Paul had had got up and, um, you know, started proclaiming this prophecy, man. Because anything that that, 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 is, that is said should go back to uh, uh, to prophecy, man. That's, that's a foundation, all right? If anybody's telling you anything within the scripture, man, they should be able to show you the prophecies regarding uh, in regards to whatever they said, man. This is Isaiah 32 and 13. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and, bri and briars. Now, when did this happen, man? This happened once again in 70 AD. All right, let me go ahead and grab another precept and then we'll go further on on this Isaiah 32. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 23 and verse 27, it says, And there followed him, being Yahweh Shai, a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. All right, because they knew he was getting ready to, uh, he was getting ready to be put to death, man. You know, be, be that sacrifice for the nation of Israel. All right, it says, But Yahweh Shai, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming, in which they shall say, blessed are the barren, meaning blessed are those that don't have children, man, and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck, because we were about to, to go into captivity, man, uh, you know, under the hand of the Romans, but, you know, s spread really throughout the entire earth, man, into, in, in, into the slave trade, all right? It says, then shall they begin to say, in the mountains fall on us, and to the hills cover us, for if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there, <clears throat> and there were also two other male factors led with them to be put to death. But you know, just just showing you the point, man, that you know, following right after this was gonna be was gonna be the fall of uh, of Jerusalem. Let me go ahead and grab another precept also in the book of Luke. I think it's in twenty four, if I'm not mistaken. Salakius, not twenty four, man. It's twenty one. Luke 21 and 24, and it reads, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. You see that, man? It's again the fall of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So you, so you see that, man? The, the, and let me go up to verse 20. It says, 
And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Right, so the desolation of, of, of Jerusalem is near, man. The desolation of Israel. All right, that's what Yahweh Shai was telling him, man. You guys are getting ready to be besieged by, by the Romans, man. All right, and, and the great falling away is going to begin, okay? But now, now that we kind of, you know, got that covered, let's go ahead and jump back to the book of Isaiah. Once again, this is Isaiah 32 and 13. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yeah, upon the houses of joy in the joyous city, because the places shall be forsaken, and the multitude of the city shall be left. The forts and the towers shall be for dens forever, a joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. So you see, basically, Jerusalem would become would become not ours, man. All right, we would no longer be seen there, man. We wouldn't be seen there having joy. All right, we wouldn't be seen in our homes. All right, what did it say in the book of Lamentations 4, 4 and 1? That, a, that, that aliens will live there, man. All right, foreigners, heathens, man. All right, because we fell. All right, and... and, and but what does it say? Until the Spirit be poured upon us. See, this is exactly what was being spoken of in 2 Thessalonians, man. All right. What did, what, did, what did he say? That day shall not come unless it be a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, man. All right. So until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness be a fear fulfilled and the fear fulfilled be counted for a forest, then judgment shall dwell in, in the wilderness and righteousness remain in the fruitful field, right? Righteousness will begin to be declared, man. All right. Verse 17. And the work of righteousness shall be peace and the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. You see, and, and this, this will come to pass. Peace will only come once Esau is removed out of power, man. But you see right now he's being revealed. You know, it's being shown who he is. All right. But verse 18. It's lucky. Uh, and my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation. Are they dwelling in a peaceable habitation today in Israel? No. And in sure dwellings and in quiet resting places. So you see when the children of Israel return to their land, man, that's how it's going to be. All right. But nevertheless, you still see the point of the falling away being there, man. All right. That's the falling away in which it's speaking on. All right. And but yet it shows that that, that this truth is going to return unto us, man. You know, Christianity has been here since 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 Rome came into power, man. All right, your modern Christianity. All right, with uh, uh, what's 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 the damn guy's name, man? Um, Constantine. All right, Christianity's been there with all their their heathen garbage that really has nothing to do with these scriptures, man. All right, when when was the falling away of Christianity? Hmm? When was the falling away of Catholicism? All right, could could you tell us when this was, man? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, and jump on to uh. The book of Baruch. All right, because what you're seeing, man, you're seeing prophecy by seeing, you know, these different these different brothers getting up and proclaiming uh, their pedigrees, man. All right, proclaiming this truth. All right, prophesying, letting you know what time it is, man. This is prophecy that any of us could even receive this knowledge, man. Anyway, this is Baruch. It's like it. Baruch two and thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. Right, the children of Israel are stiff-necked, man. Coons. It says, but in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. You see that, man? What is it? There will be that falling away because they're stiff necked. But yet, they're going to remember themselves, man. They're going to return. All right? And shall know that I am Yahweh. You see that, man? And, and, the re and, and the reason why we really forgot ourselves, you know, because in order to remember something, that means you forgot it. Right? The reason, the reason why, why, why we lost our heritage, man, was during the reign of... Of our enemies. All right, let's go ahead and get into Second uh, Maccabees, like Second Maccabees six, and uh, I'll just jump down to verse six. All right, just showing some of the points here. This is when uh, Greece came into power. All right, so you know what what they began to do, man, was try to draw all of our all of our heritage away from us, man. Because if you remove the Most High from us, and we really have no power, man, because that is our blessing, that's our power. All right, and the heathen knows that, man, especially Esau. So he knows if he could keep us disconnected from the Most High, then he could continue his reign of wickedness, man. But anyway, 2 Maccabees 6 and 6, nevertheless, was it lawful? Uh, it was Salakia. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days 
or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew, right? So they, they were making you become the stranger, man. They were making you get, get that beat into your head that they, they, you know, you are who your captor is, man. So if you're living in, uh, uh, you know, if you were living amongst Rome, you'd be calling yourself a Roman. Just like today, what do you call yourself? An American. What is a, what is a, we, we, we got into a, a, we had a bugged out a Native American come up to us the other day, screaming at the top of his lungs, beating on his chest. He's a Native American. What, what does the word America go back to, man? It goes back to Amerigo Vespucci, the man who, who, you know, as they say, uh, uh, found the country, man. So basically what you're saying is you're native to that man. You're native to his, to his family. All right, but you see the, 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 the reason why you have no true identity, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is because you are Israelites, man. All right, you are Hebrews. All right, but anyway, let me go ahead and jump down. I just want to hit, hit a couple more. Uh, let's see. Gone. Verse 9, it says, 2 Maccabees 6 and 9, And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles should be put to death. You see that, man? So if you're not taking part in, you know, the, the, the customs of the heathens, then you'd be put to death, man. It says, Then might a man have seen the present misery. Okay, but anyway, you see this, man. You see this and, and you see, you get an idea of how we had forgotten who we were, man. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump back. Rook 2, and I believe, we'll just, we'll just start at 30 again. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me for it because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves. Right? We're, we're going to remember ourselves, man. Not because Esau told us who we were, but because the power of Yahweh Bashem Shai and this prophecy, man. And he put, he put the spirit on us to remember who we were, man. All right, there was a falling away, but now Esau is being revealed, man. Now we're standing up on our feet, man. Ezekiel uh, 37, the chapter being fulfilled, man. The bone coming to bone, creating a, an exceedingly great army that's likened unto the nation of Israel, man. Coming back together, proclaiming who we are, and striving for what really matters, man. All right. Verse 31, it says, And shall know that I am, am the master of their power, for I will give them a, an heart and ears to hear right he gave us the understanding man verse 32 and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name yep they're gonna know his name man verse 33 and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds which is a slow and painful process all right but you gotta you gotta be all in man for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before yahweh right and we know what happened to them man they got put to straight death man so we we ain't we ain't trying to we ain't trying to be like another those two thirds that are gonna catch it today. Just like they wandered in the wilderness and died that whole generation, other than other than three men. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna see the same thing, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel are gonna be put to death because they're gonna continue, all right, in the ways of these heathens, man. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. You see, what the, the heavenly Father is gonna bring us into that land, man. Not America, not the Balfour Declaration. All right, it says. <clears throat> unto their fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be masters of it. And I, see, they're going to be masters of, of, of the earth, man. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land which I had given them. All right, and what this is, what this will bring, man, is ultimately... Uh, uh, rehabilitation to the planet Earth because because those who were in power today, Esau, Edom, the so-called Caucasoid, has destroyed everything, man. All right, let me go ahead and just grab two more precepts and we'll close it up according to Yahweh's will. This is Second Ezra six and twenty-eight. It reads as for faith that shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Right? The truth that hath been so long without fruit shall be declared, man. That's what we're declaring. And that's why it's confounding everybody, man. Esau don't know what to do. These, these, these grape juices of Christianity, they don't know what to do. All right? Because the scriptures speak for themselves, man. Like I said, you know, if you say something, if you make some kind of claim, there should be a prophecy that ties in with it, man. We don't just teach you our own thing, man. We believe in the scriptures, man. 
And if, if the scriptures say it, then we're with it, man. All right? And what they tell you is that we would have lost this knowledge and it would have came to us, man. So it obviously has nothing to do with any of these religions that you see before you today, man. All right? But this is a heritage, all right, for the nation of Israel, man. All right, anyway. And the elect are going to hear it, man, in return. All right? As, as we said in the beginning of the video, uh, uh, you know, giving salutations to the elect who, who are able to receive these things, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai. Not because they spent time reading, not because... You know, somebody, you know, they did a good deed. Anyway, let's go on. It says, And the truth that had been so long without fruit shall be declared. All right. Let me, let me just go ahead and hit one more. <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. And made no account of his labors. That's right, man. Being these heathens that's ruled over us. And that's what that's what you're seeing, man. Throughout all these different countries, throughout all these different nations, you're seeing the nation of Israel. You're seeing camps raise up and condemn them, man. Condemning these 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 heathens in which we live around and calling the nation of Israel to, to rise up and prepare themselves for this time of judgment, man. To be delivered. You see all this stuff, all these viruses going on, the coronavirus, the economy's collapsing, man. All this is prophecy, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is getting ready to shake the heavens and the earth, man. 200 million ICBM th thermonuclear missiles are prophesied to hit America, man. It ain't time to be bullshitting, man. All right? But this is all prophecy that this would return to us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord willing, this, this is edifying unto the elect. Let's, let's, hit, let's hit this last verse. Verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled. That's right, man. Esau is troubled. Es Esau is terrified. That's why they're doing, trying to pull videos down, trying to demonize us any way they can with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. But with that, we give call Allah Yimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders, elders and the apostles at GMS Graham Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah rule all the nation of Israel today. Peace, love, blessings, salutations. Be unto the elect. Shalom.